Hello, welcome to the self-learning platform by Dr. Sushma Singh. Today we start Unit 2, Comparative Approaches and Methods, Systems, Structural, Functional and Public Policy. Now the introduction of the unit. Political and social thinkers have often pr proclaimed a certain conception of system to explain the phenomena of politics. Marx classified societies into systems on the basis of their mode of production as federal, burgees and proletarian. Weber divided societies into systems of authority, traditional, charismatic and rational, legal. Unlike Marx who thought that system change was dialectical, Weber believed that it was evolutionary. Classical writers viewed monarchies, aristocracies and democracies as political systems. Almond classified political systems into primitive, traditional, transitional and modern. Coleman spoke of competitive, semi-competitive and authoritarian systems and later divided them into dictatorial, oligarchical and representational system. Asensats suggested a long list of primitive, patrimonial, federal, bureaucratic, democratic, autocratic, totalitarian and underdeveloped systems. Edward Shale classified modern system into political democracies, petrolar democracies, modernizing oligarchies, totalitarian oligarchies and traditional oligarchies. Classifications of systems reveal a variety of interpretations. The emergency of many new nations, the amassing of new data and technological advances has increased the complexity of this subject. Many social scientists now use system as the basic concept of their political analysis system thus is an abstraction of the real society. Any social phenomena can be viewed as a system. These phenomena are interrelated. However, boundaries are employed to discuss different systems such as political, economic, social and cultural, psychological. The analyst abstracts from the whole society some elements which are more coherent and call them a system. Conceptually, measurable amounts are called variables, constants, elements are termed parameters. The variables of a political system may consist of structures, functions, role, actors, values, norms, goals, inputs, outputs, response and feedback. These terms will be explained below as we analyze the concept of political system. Now the point is genesis and orientations of the systems approach. The genesis of the systems approach can be traced to several different scientists. Leland Field has mentioned in this connection the fields of biology, cybermatics and operations research. This approach is also adapted to anthropology, economics and sociology. Ludwig von Butler, Laffey and others founded the Society for General System research and also a general behavioral science. 
they said that the goal of the systems theory was the integration of the various sciences natural and social norbert werner believed that he, his concept of cybermatic control through feedback could be a model for legitimizing governmental operations in a political system operations research applied the systems approach to the use of radar installations during the second world war it was used to forecast military outcomes on the basis of strategy tactics and the design of weapons later in times of peace operations research becomes synonymous with systems analysis in natural and social sciences among the social sciences economics was first to make contribution to system theory economic techniques and computer simulations were used along with input output analysis to analyze relations among various segments of an economic system input output analysis is generally static in nature in political science it is generally used in qualitative assessment of a system game theory has been used in political analysis of electoral strategies and external relations of political system political scientists have used it in the testing and implementation of the rational choice theory this theory assumes that individuals tend to use actions that bring them the best results sociology also alludes to ways of guiding human thinking in systematic fashion we often refers to the planning programming budgeting system used by the american government david singer distinguished between two different orientations consisting of systems analysis and general systems in his view systems analysis suffers from abstraction and lacks of a dynamic and historical perspective he opted for the phrase general systems which should study regularities in various system p g casanova suggested a somewhat similar distinction the first type was represented by talcott parson and is rooted in 19th century positivist theories the second type is called systems analysis which stresses on the decision making and has benefited from mathematical applications and operations research casanova studied the history of changes in modern system his emphasis on history and policy oriented research enabled him to put forward a radical reinterpretation of both systems analysis and functionalism ronald chilcott has identified three principal trends in the literature of the system theory one trend something called grand theory is non historical in orientation it grew from the natural sciences it culminated in the writings of david eastern the impact of eastern was wide ranging and had a profound impact on both comparative and international politics karl dastich morton cap kaplan and herbert spiro were deeply influenced by him another trend known as structural functionalism tries to be holistic 
but drifts toward a non historical and middle range analysis it has grown from two academic traditions in the first tradition we can place the works of malis bonki redcliffe brown and talcott parson in the second traditions we can refer to the works of arthur bentley and david truman both these traditions have converged in the contributions of gabriel almond whose structural functional approach made great impact on comparative politics a third friend is a radical and marxist critic and interpretation of system theory it raises substantive issue of public policy and argues that the study of political science must investigate them in order to make our knowledge socially relevant and meaningful in addition the radical interpretation recast system in terms of the state and looks to the theories of the capitalist state here we want to wind up this lecture thank you so much for your attention